Okay, so this is just going to be a really quick video to answer someone's question on how to make a watermark in Affinity Photo. So I'm first going to start off with a new document and I'm going to make it a transparent background and then click OK. And then to make it easier to see what I'm doing, I'm going to add a fill layer and I'm just going to change the colour. And now you need to either make your design or text that will go across the image. So for this example, I'm just going to create a text. So I'm clicking on the artistic text tool and then I'm just going to press on the screen. And then I'm just going to change my font to something quite simple. And you want it to be quite easy to read as well. And I'm just going to type in Bethany Acorn. And then when you've done that, you want to go to the move tool. And then you can resize the text by dragging out the corners. And I want mine to go across the page like this. And then I'm going to change the colour to white. And then I'm also going to lower the opacity of it. That way it doesn't completely block the picture. And then if you want you can add it to your assets which will just make it easier to get to. So if you click on this little grid and then click on the three lines at the top and then click add subcategory and then click on the three dots again and then add asset from selection and then you can see it there so then if I just click on it and click insert it will make another one appear and then if I click insert again I'll have three of them and I'm just going to rename that as well to watermark and then click OK and that will just help to keep it a bit more organised so once I've done that I'm going to go back to the layer studio and I can delete this bottom fill layer now and then if you want to be able to apply the watermark with all three of them just go to export and then make sure you've clicked on PNG and that will just save it without a background and then you can just save it to your camera roll so I'm just going to click save image and again so it's easier to find you can make a folder on your iPad just called affinity or something and save that watermark into it so now I've just opened one of my old photo manipulations just so I can show the watermark so then if I go to place and then find my watermark and then I can just resize it and that will go across the image and then you can still mess around with the opacity so if it's too harsh and you can also save it without having done anything to the opacity so that way you can fully adjust it or if you don't want a watermark to go across the image you can make a small design that will sit in the corner so if I get rid of the text for a minute, you can see I've got these two options with white and black text, which I would recommend you doing. So if you've got a picture that's quite dark, then you could have the white one and then that will show um, over the blacks. And then same if you've got a more lighter picture, you would use the one with the black text and then you can just place it in the corner. And then again, you can um, mess around with the opacity. And I've just saved that as a PNG again, so it's not going to have a background. 